Once upon a time, in a distant coastal village, there lived an elderly fisherman named Jack and his beloved wife Lily. Jack would set out to sea every day, cast his nets into the water, but most days he would return home with only a few fish. Their small cabin was just big enough to meet their basic needs, but both of them dreamed of a better life. One day, while Jack was out at sea again, a strange, shimmering fish got caught in his net. The fish looked so beautiful and unusual that Jack immediately noticed it. Just as he was about to catch the fish, it suddenly started to speak, Please, let me go, fisherman. I am actually a magical fish. If you set me free, I will grant you a wish. Jack was very surprised, but he was a kind-hearted man. He decided to release the fish and it disappeared into the depths of the water. The next day, the fisherman returned to the same spot and cast his nets into the sea again. This time, his nets were filled with plenty of fish. Jack thought this bountiful catch was a gift from the magical fish he had set free, and he returned home happy. However, as time passed, Lily began to want more. I wish we had a bigger house, she said one day. Jack, thinking that the magical fish could help them, set out to sea again and called for the magical fish. The fish surfaced and addressed Jack, saying, What do you wish for, fisherman? Jack conveyed his wife's wish. And the magical fish nodded its head and dived back into the water. The next day, Jack and Lily's small cabin had transformed into a large and comfortable house. After a while, Lily wanted even more. I wish we had a palace, and I could live like a queen, she dreamed. Jack set out to sea once again and summoned the magical fish. As usual, the fish emerged, listened to Jack's wish, and disappeared into the water. The following day, Jack and Lily's home had turned into a grand palace. Lily was now living like a queen. But human desires are limitless, and eventually Lily wanted to have magical powers. Jack hesitated at this final wish, but still went to the fish and conveyed the wish. However, this time, the magical fish was angry and said to Jack, You humans are never satisfied. Each thing I give you only leads to wanting more. That's why I'm taking back everything I've given you. Instantly, Jack and Lily's palace, its beauties, and riches vanished. They returned to their small cabin, but this time they were happier and more grateful. They realized that true happiness was not found in what they possessed, but in the time they spent together and their love for each other. When Jack and Lily returned to their small cabin, they realized how beautiful their life actually was. Despite returning to their old days, their love for each other and the happiness they derived from their simple life made them richer than ever. Jack continued to set out to sea every day, but now he was grateful for everything that nature and the sea provided. One morning, when Jack set out to sea, the sun was rising and the sea was calm and clear. That day, he caught the magical fish in his nets again. The fish smiled at Jack and said, Jack, your kindness and gratitude have greatly impressed me. That's why I'm leaving a small gift for you and Lily. With a little magic, the magical fish left a shining, magical pearl inside Jack's boat. This pearl not only had material value, but also reminded Jack and Lily of the value of happiness and gratitude every time they looked at it. When Jack returned home, he told Lily what had happened and showed her the pearl. They both appreciated the value of this beautiful gift and placed it in their favorite spot, by the window of their small cabin. 
Every morning, when the sun shone on the pearl, their home was filled with light, reminding them of the lessons the magical fish had taught them. Jack and Lily lived a long and happy life, always filled with love and gratitude towards each other and those around them. And whenever anyone heard their story, they were reminded of what true wealth really means.